Hey guys, what's going on? MaxFTE here, and today I'm back with another Pokemon Go Great League video. Today we're going to be using the brand new Shadow for Alligator in the Open Great League, which this Pokemon needed a serious buff, and that's exactly what it got this season. Um, we're going to be running it with Gudra and Skarmory as well. But yeah, did you also know that only 8.8% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed? So if you're enjoying, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe, and help us on the road to 10k. But yeah, let's jump into the battles. One of the biggest things about Pokemon Go is that every single Pokemon is only one update away from being amazing. Now, Feraligatr is something that has been extremely... I don't even want to say mid, I want to say borderline useless for so many years just because of the moves that it had, and now it gets Shadow Claw and suddenly this thing is amazing. Uh, always, always... It's, I mean, there's a lot of FOMO within Pokemon Go, but sometimes it is good to just hoard every single Pokemon and just wait. Wait for the right time. And so, yeah, that's what I've done with Feraligatr. I had this uh, Shadow Totodile from years and years ago. I don't know how many years. I didn't even know if it, how old it is, to be honest with you. But moral of the story is I've hoarded it for all this time and it's finally gotten an update and now it's really fun and really good. So yeah, I'm going to be running Shadow for Alligator as a safe swap. I, I'm actually running Ice Beam on it. I see a lot of people running Crunch and Hydro Cannon. I just personally preferred Ice Beam uh, just because most people do sort of expect the Crunch on it. So against your grass types, the Ice Beam can take a lot of people by surprise, which is quite nice. Now, you will also notice that this team is extremely similar to a excuse me, extremely, extremely similar to another video I recently uploaded showcasing Gudra. Um, I mean, yes, it is, but I'm also running the sort of Gudra and the Skarmory as different sort of positions. I've got Gudra on the lead. Gudra and sort of dragon types in general are very good leads in the current meta. There's not that many fairy types and even the steel types it can sort of hold its own against. And so... Yeah, sort of a, as a replacement to Shadow Dragonair, which is... I, I really enjoy Gudra now. Uh, obviously, Feraligatr as our safe swap. Um, you can pretty much take shields or wind switch from a lot of things. And so, obviously, your Shadow Victory Bells, that sort of thing, aren't going to be good fun for it. But, that's okay. You're still going to be taking shields on that front. And Skarmory in the back as a closer. This, this team is... The sort of premise I find with a lot of the Shadow, well, I was going to say Shadow Dragonair, but obviously I'm running Gudra on the lead. The sort of premise with a lot of those teams is winning Switch and having a sort of rock, paper, scissors backline. Skarmory is an extremely rock, paper, scissors Pokemon. You either absolutely thump the opposing Pokemon or you just get thrashed, which totally no in between, which is what it is, and so, yeah, we're going to see what Shadow for Alligator can do for us. At the moment, though, uh, Gudra's sort of stealing the Sur, going for an Aqua Tail against the Venusaur, which is really nice. Obviously going to come in with a Skarmory, just because Venusaur does nothing to Skarmory, like, it just does nothing. Frenzy Plant coming in, just tickles the Skarmory, going to farm all the way down, and they're going to come in with a Azumarill, I think. I'm probably going to Brave Bird and then change into the Feraligator, just to try and give the... <laughs> for alligator a bit of show here so they're gonna go ice beam i'm gonna go brave bird i throw one wing attack just on good timing going for the excellent going for the brave bird that's gonna get in the nice and low and the thing about for alligator is there's actually a lot of azumarils about at the moment and you would think being a water type against another water type for alligator would sort of struggle but hydro cannon does really nice damage and so in that Azumarill matchup um, being able if you can call the sort of play rough versus the ice beam bait you can actually do really well in that which did sort of surprise me so yeah we've got the Gudra up against the what is this thing called again it's the evolved Joltik um, Galvantula that's it <laughs> sorry I totally forgot the name of that and they're gonna get to a move it's gonna be a lunge it isn't quite going to take us out at this range, so we can just farm down, which is quite nice. Are going to be taking switch, and so they'd come in with a Feraligator. So, what am I saying? Sorry, I'm looking at the graphic. They come in with a Azumarill, and we're going to go for the Power Whip, and going to swap straight into our Feraligator, just because I didn't want to be farmed down with the... farmed down by the Azumarill. So this is going to be going for the Ice Beam, 
and unfortunately the opponent did see it coming. However, I I think I just let it go. To be honest, I think I probably I think I probably would have been able to shield that and then reach another ice beam. But I think I just, for the sake of being sensible, I think I want to just save my shield. Come in with a Skarmory. Again, absolutely wall this thing. There is zero that Superior can do to Skarmory. So we don't need to worry in the slightest there. And they're just going to go for another move. Aerial Ace, again, tickling us. They swap into their Azumarill. And so I want to say... Okay, no. So we soak up the energy from the Azumarill here, which is quite nice. Thankfully, they go for a play rough as well, so they could even be running Hydro Pump, which, in that position, I'm not sure why you wouldn't just go for Ice Beam, uh, so that must explain what if that they're running Hydro Cannon. And so, gonna go for the Sky Attack and just take out the Superior there. Game nicely won. Gudra against the Zvilus. This is, I think, it's... I think we just barely lose here. Um, I, I can't remember if that was CMP just there or not. Uh, yeah, it was. So we lose CMP, which is unfortunate. So I think we, I think I might be able to have won this if I had just, sh uh, just kept going straight Dragon Breath. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> They're one Dragon Breath away. So. We could have won that, but is what it is. Gonna come in with the Skarmory, and they're gonna come in here with a Lantern, which is horrible. And so, they come in with a Jump Pluff as well, which is also not great at all. Gonna go for the Ice Beam, and just praying here. That's gonna, one <laughs> gonna one-shot the Jump Pluff. However, they do still have a Lantern in the back with a Shield, which is really not good at all. Shadow Claws and Hydro Cannon is gonna be, it's gonna be adding up. That's Lantern already in the yellow. Thankfully, they go for a move, so they could have easily just farmed all the way down. Um, but I think at this point, it's unfortunately too little too late. And yeah, if I'd called that bait correctly there, <sighs> ah, it's annoying. It's it's like when you look back, it's um, a little frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, we could have potentially won that game, however, we just didn't manage to call the bait correctly. But even against Lantern, which is a really good electric type, for Alligator still does quite well. We've got the Gudra up against the Galarian Stunfisk. And they're going to be going for a Rock Slide. It does about 30%, 35% of the Gudra's health. Thankfully, we've got Arc Tail. Obviously, that was recently buffed, so that's going to be doing some nice damage. They are going to shield that up, going to preserve a bit of the health on the Galarian Stunfisk. We're going to shield up their move again, just trying to sort of play for switch here. And they come in with an Obstagoon, and I, I I just don't see this thing at all. So I sort of panicked a little bit, and I wasn't sure what to come in with. But I come in with a Skarmory. Um, my sort of logic was, obviously, for Alligator, with the Shadow Claw, it's going to be doing nothing against the Obstagoon. Sure, Hydro Cannons are going to be nice, but um, yeah, the Shadow Claw is doing nothing. Obviously, Skarmory does not want to see the Stunfisk at all, so we're just going to get this thing in here just so that it's out of the way of the Stunfisk. And so, I'm going to get quite low here. i just just going to let this go through, and I think at this point, I'm going to come in with the Feraligator. I'm actually going to go for one Shadow Claw farm all the way down, and they come in with the Pelipper. They do have zero shields left, so this is just going to be a Weather Ball, which is quite nice. Gonna let that go through you. It does decent damage, and they I don't know if they were trying to catch an ice beam onto the stun fisk. However, we're just gonna fire away here. That's gonna just about one shot the stun fisk. I, I'm just I just love for alligator, it's just so good. And gonna go for the ice beam. And this is going to actually, <laughs> this is actually that was neutral and that took out the out the pelper. That's amazing. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Any team suggestions or anything like that, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace.